cannot walk through a big box retailer or department store without being inundated with products that claim to turn back the hands of time. But what really works in those sea of contenders? For the answer, we turn to our good friend and dermatologist, Dr. Sonia Batra, who let us inside her home to see her secret arsenal of beauty. Important to keep this in mind, these brands aren't paying her. This is just Dr. Batra's truth. Hi, welcome. Come on in. This is my house. These are my kids. This is Tara and this is Sean. Today I'm going to show you some of the things I have in my house that help me take care of my skin. This is the fridge. I have salmon because it's high in omega fatty acids, great for your skin. Berries, which are high in antioxidants that help you fight ongoing sun damage. Just a mix of whole grains, fruits, vegetables. And oranges. And oranges. <laughs> Come on up, I'm gonna show you what's in my beauty arsenal. I am a product junkie. They're actually organized by category. And you can see here there's actually kind of a mix. Everything from the drugstore to the mall to things you get from a doctor's office. In the morning, I think it's really important to start with an antioxidant. The next step should be a sunblock. And I'm a fanatic about mineral sunscreens that are based in titanium or zinc. Then at night, after a long day, I'm a huge fan of microfiber. You just have to wet it and then you use it over whatever makeup you're wearing. Then I am also a big proponent of doing what's called a double cleanse. And what that means is you start with an oil-based cleanser to get rid of any residual makeup. And then the second step for me, I use a really great calming sulfur wash. It's usually a water-based cleanser. Two nights a week, I'll use a retinoid, which is a prescription strength Retin-A. And the nights I'm not using a retinoid, I use a really good peptide-based anti-aging serum. This is the Neocutis Bio Serum. After that, I'll usually use a moisturizer. I also use a prescription eyelash serum at night. It actually helps with eyelash growth. One way to help your skin is to use a silk pillowcase. Silk is a natural fiber. It's going to help keep your skin hydrated. Thanks for coming to the house. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Dr. Batra, your kids are adorable. Thank you. All right, so the two of you, I'm looking at you both, and, and obviously you're both beautiful. I want to ask you a final beauty tip. I'm going to have one from Dr. Batra and then Marlo a beauty ah, tip from you sure. as well. So interestingly, the one beauty tip I wanted to give everyone is that in my beauty arsenal, the one thing you didn't see was a magnifying mirror. And mm. the thing is, I have so many patients who use these magnifying mirrors. They're looking at themselves oh, in 5X oh. and 10X. They're traumatizing and they're squeezing. Nobody sees you at that magnification. Good one. Because Even it's only a good way going. to see, yeah, to <laughs> squeeze and pick and traumatize. And don't yeah. Just think you'll look prettier when your eyes easy. start, you know, going yeah. south. All right, Marla. Like, oh, so much better now. I can't see as well. Marla, before we, before we head to break, give us one beauty tip. Come on. Uh, well, I, doing something you love, I think, keeps you beautiful and young forever and and dancing is something I've just discovered as, as, as being my new favorite thing and I do crazy gymnastics moves so handstands headstands I think getting the blood circulating oh to to Ooh. your your brain and your skin is, is like a you good, know good what thing. I'm gonna go ahead and tease it we're gonna get Marla Maples to do a headstand on our show <laughs> on this stage we'll be right back